Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of PS Educate Me. We are going to read Days with Frog and Toad by Arnold Lobel. Frog and Toad, let's see what they get into. Here's the table of contents. So we have tomorrow, the kite, shivers, the hat, and the loom. So let's start with tomorrow. Tomorrow, Toad woke up. Drat, he said, the house is a mess. I have so much work to do. Friends, do you ever wake up and feel like you have a lot to do and a lot to get done? Sometimes I do too. Frog looked through the window. Toad, you are right, said Frog. It is a mess. Toad pulled the covers over his head. Uh-oh, why do you think he did that, friends? I will do it tomorrow, said Toad. Today, I will take life easy. So it seems like he's going to rest today. Frog came into the house. Toad, said Frog. Your pants and jacket are lying on the floor. Tomorrow, said Toad from under the covers. Your kitchen sink is filled with dirty dishes, said Frog. Tomorrow, said Toad. Oh, friends, it seems like there are a lot of chores to be done in the house. There is dust on your chairs. Tomorrow, said Toad. Your windows need scrubbing, said Frog. Your plants need watering. Tomorrow, cried Toad. I will do it all tomorrow. Oh, friends, what do you think? Should Toad wait until tomorrow? Well, let's see what he decides to do. Toad sat on the edge of his bed. Blah, said Toad. I feel down in the dumps. Why, asked Frog. I am thinking about tomorrow, said Toad. I am thinking about all of the many things that I will have to do. Yes, said Frog. Tomorrow will be a very hard day for you. Well, friends, what do you think he should do to not make tomorrow so hard? But Frog, said Toad, if I pick up my pants and jacket right now, then I will not have to pick them up tomorrow, will I? No, said Frog. You will not have to. Toad picked up his clothes. He put them in the closet. Ah, see, friends, sometimes all it takes is to start with one thing. Frog said, Toad, if I wash my dishes right now, then I will not have to wash them tomorrow, will I? No, said Frog, you will not have to. And then after you do one thing, then you do the next thing. Toad washed and dried his dishes. He put them in the cupboard. Frog said, Toad, if I dust my chairs and scrub my windows and water my plants right now, then I will not have to do it tomorrow, will I? No, said Frog, you will not have to do any of it. Toad dusted his chairs. He scrubbed his windows. He watered his plants. There, said Toad, now I feel better. I am not in the dumps anymore. Why, asked Frog. Friends, why do you think that he's not in the dumps anymore? Let's see what he said. Because I have done all that work, said Toad. Now I can save tomorrow for something that I really want to do. What is that, asked Frog. Tomorrow, said Toad, I can just take life easy. Toad went back to bed. He pulled the covers over his head and fell asleep. So friends, what lesson did you learn about tomorrow? Well, on our next episode, we'll read about the kite. So get ready. And also, friends, let me know, how do you chunk your chores? Do you do them all in one day? Do you take them little by little? Maybe you have a list of chores that you do. I'd love to know your strategy. Can't wait to read about it. See you next time on this episode of PS Educate Me. Bye.